friends in this video we will study about maps globes we use a globe to represent the spherical earth the globe is a model of the earth on a small scale the shape of the continents and oceans are quite pre precise on a globe and their sizes are shown on a reduced scale small towns and villages of a country cannot be shown on a globe maps maps represents the earth's surface either whole or part of it on paper details of various continents countries etc can be put together to make a book of maps called atlas maps can have more information and are easier to handle than globes disadvantages of maps the curved surface of the earth is represented on a flat surface so when we try to show parts of the world on a flat surface the shapes and sizes of the continents and oceans get distorted the maximum distortion of is seen in the regions around the poles types of maps there are three types of maps first is physical map physical map shows the natural features on the earth's surface for example mountains plateaus plains rivers and so on second is political map political maps shows the boundaries of countries and of the states within the country and also shows the locations of cities and towns third is thematic maps thematic maps are based on a theme or a topic for example types of soils forest area the distribution of minerals and industries and so on history of map making the science of map making is called cartography the babylonians thought that the earth is flat and disk shaped and they drew the map of the world based on this thought Babylonians used clay tablet to make maps. These maps were not very accurate. Ptolemy. Ptolemy was the first to represent the earth as a sphere. Ptolemy is the father of cartography and he was also the first to mark the north line on a map. Modern map Modern maps are either printed on a material such as paper or plastic. They are stored in computers. Modern maps are more accurate than the old ones. Modern maps use images from satellites and aeroplanes to make detailed maps with the help of computers. important features of maps there are three important features of maps a scale a vertical line marked n at the top some required symbols scale a small distance on paper represents a large distance on the ground a particular length on paper will show a particular distance on the ground For example suppose two places are 100 km apart 1 cm on the map is equals to 50 km on the ground these two places would be 2 cm apart on the map this relation of 1 cm on the map representing 50 km on the ground is a scale of the map A scale of the map generally shown by a graduated straight line of a particular length. A scale of the map is drawn at the top or the bottom of the map. Sometimes the scale is not drawn, it is given in words. 
For example, if 1 cm to 100 km is written on the map, that means 1 cm on the map represents 100 km on the ground. Finding distances. Scale is used to find the distance between any two points. For example, to find actual ground distance between clock tower D and temple E. First measure distance between D and E using ruler. We find that the D E measures 4 cm. Since 1 cm on map is equal to 100 meter on the ground. Then the actual distance between D and E is equal to 4 into 100 equals to 400 meters. Scale and size of map. The size of a map depends on the scale we choose. For example, suppose 1 cm on a map is equal to 1 km on the ground. If A and B are 6 km apart on the ground, then on the map it will be shown 6 cm apart. To reduce the size of the map, we choose another scale. 1 cm on the map is equal to 2 km on the ground. Now, 3 cm on the map is equal to 6 km on the ground. North line. North line is a vertical line at the upper right or left corner. The uppermost point of this line has an arrow marked with the letter N. North line shows north direction. Similarly, east, west and south can also be found out. These four directions are called the cardinal points of the compass. Directions. There are two types of direction. Major directions and intermediate direction. Four major directions are North, South, East, West and four intermediate directions are Northeast, Southeast, Northwest and Southwest. Directions help in locating a place with greater accuracy. If North line on the map is not shown, then Upper part is taken as north, lower part is taken as south, left side is considered as west and right side is considered as east. Finding the direction of a place. Two places A and B are shown. We have to find the direction of B with respect to A. Draw a vertical and horizontal lines intersecting at point A, join A and B. What do we observe? We observe that B is to the south west of A. Finding the location of a place. To locate a place P with respect to a place Q, we need to know two things. Direction of P with respect to Q and secondly, distance of P from Q. Conventional symbols. Due to limited space in maps, it is impossible to show the actual shapes and sizes of trees, buildings, villages, etc. So they are shown with the help of various symbols. People all over the world use the same set of symbol and there is an international agreement on these symbols. These are called conventional symbols. Sketch. A map shows the features of an area according to a scale. To locate a particular place with respect to certain other place, sometimes we need a rough drawing of that area. Such a drawing would not be drawn to any scale. This kind of a rough drawing of an area is called a sketch. Plan 
A map shows the locations of various places or features on an area. Sometimes we need to know the details of a particular building or of a room in a building. At such times, we refer to detailed drawings known as plan. A plan is a detailed drawing of a small area drawn on a very large scale. Plan shows the details of small area. For example, a plan showing the rooms, windows, doors, etc.